Little Rock, the mayor also took to the podium today to address some changes in how the city will operate in the next coming weeks. RJ Burr covering that for us today, and he has more. Jay? Yeah, guys, Little Rock doing its best this afternoon to be proactive, announcing several items for the capital city to prevent the spreading of the coronavirus as much as possible. Little Rock Mayor Frank Scott Jr. taking proactive steps against social gatherings on Monday. The first, announcing a curfew. The city of Little Rock will also implement a nightly citywide curfew from midnight until 5 a.m. Effective Wednesday morning. Chief of Police Keith Humphrey stresses that while this is a mandatory curfew, they won't be out to get people, especially those who are working overnight or early morning shifts. Little Rock Police Department will not be stopping individuals who are traveling in their cars. The main thing will be when we see individuals who are out in public between the hours of the curfew, 12 a.m. to 5 a.m., we are going to proactively remind them that uh, the curfew is in effect. Mayor Scott says this will be the case until further notice, but will be reviewed every two weeks. He also announced that city buildings will be closed to the general public starting on Wednesday. We are encouraging um, all of our city residents that are conducting business with the city of Little Rock to conduct online. He says people will be checking those email addresses frequently and that the phone lines will still be open as well to those offices. Mayor Scott hopes that people will be amenable to the changes that he is implementing, knowing that they are only temporary. We are a very resilient city. We are a very smart city. We will get through this. This is our journey right now. And we will navigate through this journey. But we have to do this together as a united Little Rock. Mayor Scott also commenting on restaurants in the city, saying only the Department of Health can issue those closings, but he does encourage people to use the delivery and takeout options. Also, the next board meeting will be at the Robinson Hall, but also close to the general public. But for those wishing to submit public comments or questions, you can email the city clerk's office you see there, or you can call 501-371-4766. Guys.